it's time to catch another 2K Dev propaganda spreading, misinformation pandering 2K Dev body exclusively given to you by the Big Swan, okay? Big Swan. Now within this video, I'm going to disprove this Dev and all these other liars, these creators, these negative 1%, you know, these horrible people with only factual evidence, okay? It's the ISO guy, Sensei, the greatest in existence now before we get into any of this y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new help me hit 280k.9 we are 55 subscribers away and make sure you hit that goddamn like button help me get 200 likes within the first hour so young swan can grow don't be a hater man come on like can y'all do it what damn this Cesar tweets out right hey is all that damn honk here he tweets out a misconception, a lie, a genjutsu. He says, community asked for a skill gap. We brought on high level players to team for testing and development. Y'all been doing that. Now, let me body that first sentence right there, right? Y'all wanna know why I went so hard in the beginning creation of the game, the, f the first few months before the game came out to prove, I literally proved it, they said it. They all tweeted it, okay? In my past videos on the lead up to the game, they all admitted and said, we are building this game for casuals. When you say you're building the game for casuals, that means less skill gap for everyone, for everyone, right? I'm talking to Uncle Ruckus in the damn uh, Twitter spaces, right? We're making it, we're not bringing all that back. We're building it for the casual gamer, the guy that's gonna play God of War and get on this hole once or twice a week and be able to be successful, right? They constantly said, and anytime a big argument happened, right? A big commotion in the community, they say, we are appealing to the masses, not the one, 10%, 20, we're appealing to the negative win percents, the worst people in the game. They have admitted this anytime. All the devs tweet, all of them. There's like eight of them. They all tweet saying, we got these numbers for this and that, all this and that. My guys, they took records out the game. <laughs> Bro, if that don't tell you what they're building the game for, they took records out the game. This is irrefutable, okay? I'm not even gonna get into the gameplay yet because that that's more, uh, oh, like you're, you're, you're so a lot of people just aren't awoken to what takes skill in the game, right? You just don't know. And it's just a pure ignorant standpoint, you know? Like, so it's not even your fault, you know? But li listen, listen, listen. They took records out the game. If that don't tell you, and the stats, and it reset every season, if that doesn't tell you how they're building the game, I don't know what else. They admitted it, every single one of them. They are making the game as casual as possible. The numbers are increasing. They are trying their best to limit the best players and make the bots be able to compete better. That is what they're doing. That is what every game is doing. So when they lie like this, they're liars, right? <laughs> Listen, listen, they don't want to be called out for the truth, but look, look, look. Then he say, they help us tune so that shooting is a challenge, but they still are successful. Now, if this was true, why when the game first dropped, people are shooting full court bombs? Everyone liked the first shooting, by the way, at least most decent players. The, the full court bombs was crazy, but you know, but, but guess what? That was shameful to the devs. They didn't like that. They hated that. People were shooting all them crazy shots, right? And what did they do? They, boom! It, it wasn't the community that was asking for a skill gap saying, yo, nerf this, nerf that. No, they did it because they were ashamed of the product that they created. I'm exposing the truth to you. They're the ones that patched that. And all the negative win percents, right? They're like, no. You know, everyone else was just laughing because only the top, the top people was shooting them crazy shots. It wasn't Mr. Johnny 444, right? It was crazy though, right? You know, I was indifferent about it, you know? But what did they do? They 
broke it to the ground to where Limitless wasn't even working. The whole game is fundamentally broken. So all this high level players, team for testing it, it didn't work. <laughs> y'all minds will stop doing it because it seemed like the more people y'all get out there, the game just keep getting worse. My whole thought is, I'm thinking they're getting comp players out there to figure out how to nerf the better players. That's what they're doing. That's what they're really doing. They're not help. They're not getting their opinion on how to make a better game. They're not. They're. They're. They're not. They're getting these top players to nerf the better players. I'm gonna show you more evidence of that. If y'all seen the Mike Wang tweets, every the whole game. What the hell? The whole game is designed to hold the better players that one percent from not going bananas that that those little people those few amount of people you know the big swan you know the original homie look those little people the whole game is built around them but then they say they don't matter right so something's not adding up game comes out and community wants the shooting easier now look this is a lie this is misinformation anyone backing this dev in particular he is one of the worst devs okay First off, let's put you out on Front Street, man. Everything you've done at the 2K company is horrible. No one respects what you've done with the AI thing. He's he's a, he's a, he's responsible for the AI. Look, we're going to make you stop tweeting, okay? Because it, it's getting out of control. Y'all are like, it, everything you've done with the AI is trash. No one on any level respects what you've done with the AI. So your little degree, whatever the hell... That, that you be saying, oh, you won't understand because you don't have a degree. Listen, listen. <laughs> AI is horrible. Fundamentally, on every aspect of the game. Defense, offense, nothing is balanced. Nothing is... Oh, AI is cool, right? You know? You do things based on how you want them, not how the community wants them, right? So your, your competence is extremely low. It doesn't make sense that the AI is better than the average 2K user. Why can the AI shoot better than the average 2K user? That doesn't make sense, guys. It don't matter what side you're on. The AI should not shoot better than the average 2K user, bro. The AI should not play defense better than the average 2K user. That that That's just the fundies. When, when you go and see these 1v1 games, right? I'm smart. I don't have to struggle versus the AIs. I figure out the sauce, right? You got to post score them. You got to, you know, jump back, then go around them, all that, right? But when people play these 1v1 games, bro, they go on like 30 shot attempts. But if they play a normal person, it's it's way easier than playing the AI. Bro, duh, what are you doing? You, you trying to like feel that you like... <laughs> It just doesn't make sense, bro. It's 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 broke. And and listen, listen, listen. So if if skilled players are having issues with the AI, how do you think casuals are feeling about that? This just shows you the devs' incompetence, right? Most people don't know how to finesse the AI. Only really skilled players do, right? A lot of people don't know. So you're sitting here making these AIs. <laughs> You're just giving people a miserable experience, right? But look, let, let's read this, right? Problem is speed up and slow down on release isn't a real skill gap. Now, li listen, listen, listen. I'm going to listen very closely to what he's saying. A lot of people don't understand this because they, they just don't realize what's happening. He says, not easy to tell when your jump shot might slow down or speed up. Right? And then y'all say, oh, that's skill gap. It's, it's harder than old 2K. Da -da 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 -da. But listen, listen. Then he says when sometimes a shot might register as wide open or contested. You see, you can't have those elements be so drastic in a game that is not predictable, right? That is not consistent, right? Sometimes someone be right there and he get a contest. Sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he get a stronger contest, right? So there's so many different outcomes, even though the dude's standing in the same place if you just keep redoing what's happening something else is going to happen because of latency whatever it, the, the game doesn't pick up everything the same all the time right it's very inconsistent and we pay a hundred a bill we deserve a better product right so what this creates is random rng 
and then there's already rng built into the game to make people shoot certain percentages right so when you have triple quadruple all this damn you make a random game that's why you see skilled players that can notice and see what's going on you view it as crying or complaining but they're telling you bro i got this hoe to a science bro and it's it's not it's not that they're not good shooters it's that random times so it might happen once a game twice a game three times a game but that changes the whole game do you do you not understand it changes the whole game right it don't mean that they don't shoot goddamn 70 percent it don't mean that they you miss a shot they go down score it changes everything it happens twice it changed everything you completely can lose the game right but then he says other times just open other times slightly contested and you don't know which one it's going to be so you anticipate a certain timing but end up getting a different one and on a game where the exact milliseconds can make a difference it's easy to see how frustrating for a play do you see this so anyone defending the devs these creators lying putting out these false narratives and agenda just because they don't notice it a lot of people don't even notice latency they don't notice lag they're literally exposed and they don't know what they're talking i don't even know why y'all give the people attention well most people they they don't know themselves but guys a lot of people don't know what they're talking about <laughs> With the game, y'all are giving 2K a excuse to make a bad product. If we all come together, we can get a better product. But y'all defend them for likes and retweets, bro. Because there's so much hate for skilled players, man. Because when people get did bad in 2K, they just automatically like hate like certain type of players, bro. And that's where that hate is coming from, dog. You play against someone like me. I'm going to make you hate skilled players for life. You feel me? Like, that's just how it is. Like, it's, it's very hurtful. <laughs> you know? Look, Stacks. I guess he switched sides. He used to defend 2K. There's little player agency when shooting the ball. It's a guessing game. Okay? We. Every time you... Do you think people are lying? They're not lying. No one is lying. If listen guys fundamentally a skill gap is not a guess that is random do, do y'all not understand random random generated number rng random if it's random that means it takes less skill if you run to the rim and just a different outcome even though the exact same sequence is happening if if there's just always a different outcome like just so much bro that that means it's less skill Skill gap, bro. So when you see better people complaining, that doesn't mean oh, oh they're, they're crying now. What are the skills? No, you bot. You NPC. How are people full-grown adults and don't understand this? This has to reflect in your life and somehow, bro. People are telling you they don't get off the game. And even the ones that don't look, look, look. You don't. You tell me people that can get 91% every year they go to the park. 101% every year they go to, to the park. Uh, stage players that 12 hours a day, no females, <laughs> no family, no job. They, they just have no idea what they're talking about. The professional 2K League players don't know what they're talking about. Swante, the genius of them all doesn't know what he's talking about bro what why do you think they're making these tweets and these lies on reddit to create infighting so people can be shamed and they can get the masses on their side so they don't have to make a better product and look bad bro but look look the massive input delay mixed with the different game speed in every mode just makes shooting oh an overall chore it really has nothing to do with skill now look a lot of people say only skilled players are complaining. The casual, it, this is not true. This is a lie. I get hundreds of comments every day of ca casual negative win percents saying they don't like the game, even though y'all are saying that they do. They're saying they don't like the game and they hate the shooting. They might not know exactly what's going on, but they hate it, right? So clearly y'all are doing something wrong. Look chop rng shot speed timing doesn't equal a skill gap the real skill gap comes from getting open and timing your shot perfect that's the real skill not shooting in someone's face guys just because you time it right okay 
But then he says, not guessing whether or not we will get a normal one, okay? Guys, Chalk made it to the 2K League. I don't even like him after he said 2K18 was better than uh, 2K16. You know, I had to block him. You know, never <laughs> never speaking to him again. Couldn't take it, dog. Listen, but you know, he was a little kid at 16, so you know. But any, anyways, anyways, anyway, guys, in this instance, what he's saying is a fact, bro. Does Cesar, if he loads up, He's horrible, okay? So anyone supporting him doesn't know what he's talking about. He's not good at the game. Everything he's done for the game holds no weight, right? If Baluba turns on the game, he's horrible. Load up his PG, Baluba. I'll get on lock for you. I got a lock, 99 steel, 99 perimeter. By the way, if there's any decent players, bro, please hit me up. All good players quit. It's, it's impossible to find decent people to run with, bro. Game just came out. That's crazy. But look, Mike Wang, load up. You're going to see he doesn't know what he's talking about. Right? And Mike Wang, if y'all, if you want to go the, oh, the coach route, the coach, even though he can't do it, he might know something, da, 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 right, right, right. But it's been proven time and time again that everything Mike does holds no weight. He try to do this, it ends up being this, right? Time and time again, every 2K. So he holds no weight. So when they speak with such arrogance and ego, it's not true. They should actually be coming on this hoe. We're sorry. We're trying to fix it. But they speak with such ego because they know they have defenders on the tube and on the Twitter and the casuals because people are so envious of skilled players, bro, because they got their heads bashed, right? Really because they want to take their spot in some shape or form, right? Like they're, they're traumatized of the past, dog. Now look, <laughs> here's how they designed 2K24. And I'm really finna expose it right here. A hundred percent undeniable this is why i don't like this game like it's built to limit the best real players which is the pg right the skilled player he can play any position on the court okay better than locks centers on the highest level right pgs they if they go and they can they're just overall we all know but I know most people, you aren't PG, so you might not agree. But the PG is the best 2K player on the court. The whole game is designed so he's nothing, right? And proof of this is if you go look at stage. Bro, they're, they, they're running three centers, bro. Any 2K where people can run three centers and dog everyone, the game is fundamentally broken. The only way that can happen is because the PG is so useless. Bro, they put a little defense, just a little defense, but then they took all the offense away. That if that speed of the game was there, you could truly see how much better that player is than everyone on the court, right? He's truly 20, 30 times better than everyone, but they limit him in, in ratings, right? This is why taller builds can shoot better than smaller builds. And in, in the speed he moves, there's probably several other things built into the game to limit players who pick that build. But not only that, it's really the speed at which he moves, right? They're limiting him, okay? For a reason. But yeah, bro, if if you look at the 2K League, the PG is like utterly useless, bro. Like the, the main scorer, he's just like, there's nothing he's really doing. He's not just two, 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 two. Like there's none of that. It's, uh, yeah, hope y'all get a steal fast break. It's really not. It shows you, bro, and it's boring gameplay. But listen, li listen to how he speaks. Just because you don't like the implementation does not mean it was not a skill gap. Perhaps previous game shooting was just too easy. Listen, do y'all not understand this? This is to manipulate and create infighting because he knows all the envious negative 1% or rec players they're gonna be on his side because they want to attack so they don't have to fix anything, guys. Listen, listen, guys. This is why I went on such a tirade to prove that they were making the game for casuals. 
in the beginning of the year, bro. Because when they say stuff like this, it's a lie for manipulation and to create infighting. Do you not understand? Why would they try to create, make shooting so hard, right? But they're catering to the casuals. Think, think. They're only saying this because they don't want to take responsibility for the inconsistency in their game, bro. I'm telling you. And he says, perhaps previous game shooting was just too easy. This is not true. We all know shooting in the past was much harder. There weren't takeovers, right? There weren't Hall of Fame badges, right? I played all them hoes. I was very good. I could tell you in rankings, the goods, the, the hardest to the easiest. You can't speak on anything. You're not good at the game. You're not battle tested, bro. You hold no weight. So you shouldn't speak like this, right? You should try to get feedback and make a better game. But Mike Wang has admitted in past two Ks, past two Ks, there's RNG in the game to hold down the top players from shooting bonker percentages, bro. Okay, X-Man says inconsistent equals luck. What part of it is skill? Casual players can compete with skilled professionals because shooting is a dice roll. That's a skill gap? Now, I don't know about casuals, but look, listen, th this is what it actually does. Say I'm a nine 2K player. Like I'm a, like that's my rating. Like that's how good I am at 2K out of 10. A seven, a nine should dominate a seven. Shouldn't be close. But now in a game where there's so much luck involved, a seven more more times than, than not can compete with a nine way easier, right? That means it's diminishing the skill gap between the those levels, right? Like lower tier people that couldn't can now because of there's so, so many different dice rolls in the game. You feel me? If you out here getting destroyed by bots, you're you're horrible, bro. 2K23, bro, I had 101%. So, I mean, like, I, I don't I don't be losing the bots, but certain people that never been able to mess with me at 2K, in 2K, they can give me a way harder time than, than ever possible because I'm so restricted. Look, respect for De 2K Desert, lying. I don't know what to, look, guys, look, this guy is a bot. Like, you can tell he's a bot. Like, it's, everyone's noticing it, but you have these creators lying saying only the comp players are telling the truth about the game because it's not complaining but it's really everyone if they did a poll you would see the truth if you read the comments you will see the truth even bro i play game chat more than any other 2k player i ask them about the game they sound just like what i'm saying bro look look at this guys he's saying he ain't lying Let, let's see what he's talking about guys he says my problem is people beg for a skill gap but when it's there it's oh the game is broken or nobody is good so tune it this is a lie i have proven everything the direction with the game they've all admitted it when there's a casual and skill gap conversation what do all the devs what are they all tweeting and saying bro what are certain creators saying like dime work dime work wants the game to be casual he wants to shoot in people's face all this and that but he keep talking about a skill gap right it's not a skill gap and it's an rng broken inconsistency why do they lie it's because they've had their heads beaten in a 2k or they are some type of envious person for some reason they're they're envious of something that is making them behave like this but all y'all are doing is making it to where 2k can't give you a better product bro to to be honest look look at this guarantee you this guy's horrible at 2k these are the type of this <laughs> guys i wouldn't play no squads right dudes 211 from three talking crazy everyone thinks they're so good at 2k but no stats to to back it up right people beg for a skill gap but don't realize they might very well be on the wrong side of the gap yo professional 2k league players and stage players and content creators that get a 90 plus win percent every year man like they'll dog you they'll destroy you 40 games out of 40 but they're on the wrong side of the gap bro like guys jesus christ bro like they're not just hiding in the wreck scared 
you know, they'll turn on a stream and show their gameplay, right? They're not just sitting there tweeting, scared to start up a stream because they'll be, you know, look, look, look at this. This is all proving my point. Listen, <laughs> guys, listen, listen, listen. Think deeper to what I'm saying, what I've been saying in a lot of my videos. I'd be like, bro, why when I have, why is it easier to shoot on a 6668 6, build than it is to shoot on my little 62 build with that has way more badges and way more attribute points? It, and the jump shot that I'm shooting on, it has a higher green window than those bigger jump shots. Why is it harder to shoot on a small build? They're worried about good players. They know good players make those small builds go for those attributes they are limiting them okay this is what i've been telling y'all everything is designed to limit them Th think about it if this is just a true statement if they just make the green window small for everyone think about it guys doesn't that mean that casual won't be able to shoot at all they would not want that so they're still making it easy for them but limiting it for those top players. How are they doing that? Because there's other things implemented in the game to limit better players. Guys, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. If you're really in deep, you know what I'm talking about. Go shoot on a 6-6, six, six, then try to shoot on a guard build. A lot of people who don't be like saying like, oh, that is shooting this, da, da, da. They can't, in no 2K, they can get on a smaller build and shoot why is that why is it always easier to shoot on a bigger build especially with the implementation of 2k23 it's not just oh you're bigger you can see your release and bro come on bro. but yeah y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this man y'all click on this video on the screen if you want to see the community's reaction to everybody losing well, hey, all they hey, hey, here we go, we go again we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.